I've um, been looking at ways of restuffing capacitors uh, on the internet and I think I have actually come up with the best system and I'd like to share that. You can see this Zenith 8S661 is filled with paper capacitors. The first thing that you need to have is um, 40's big band music in the background and that gets you in the proper frame and a couple of cups of coffee. The first thing you have to realize is that these capacitors are coated and sealed with beeswax and there's really no substitute for that and you can get beeswax online or you can get it at your local farmers market. The uh, beeswax that I got was full of bee parts and heads and wings and uh, I got online and figured out how to purify that by simply melting it and then filtering it through a cheesecloth into a container like this one. And here's the the beeswax that resulted. Uh, you can see that I've used part of it, uh, actually a large part of it. So after you do that and you get it purified then you're all set. And the thing to remember about beeswax is that you can't um, heat it directly. Now here's my little can full of melted beeswax and you notice that I've got it sitting in a pan of boiling water, uh, a double boiler setup. If you get the beeswax much beyond uh, the boiling point of water, it uh, decomposes and won't work. So the first thing you do is get the capacitor out of the circuit and what I do is I just cut the leads rather than try to fish them out, which you can see hopefully here. I'm sorry for the quality of this video. This is the first one I've ever done. but. Here's one lead here and there's the other. You just cut them. And then I take, um, because it's so hard to get schematics and wiring diagrams for these old machines, you just can't get anything wrong. So before I cut the uh, capacitor out of the circuit, I take a little jumper and I just clip it to the places where the capacitor was and then I put a tag on it, just made out of masking tape. And I put the tag on the side that has the black stripe. Now, since we're gonna be stuffing these capacitors with uh, modern capacitors, it doesn't really matter uh, which is the outer foil. This denotes the outer foil on the old capacitor, but I like to get them put back in the way they came out. You simply Put it in your in an oven and you get a pan and you put a piece of aluminum foil on it and you set it to about 200 degrees. And when you do that and you put the capacitors in there, the beeswax simply melts. Take your needle nose pliers, get it out of the oven and you notice that the most of the wax has completely melted, so it's not that hot. You can use your hand and a paper towel, and you just wipe off the outside, and it wipes off just as clean as can be. It looks like brand new. Then take your needle nose pliers, pull the guts out. If it won't pull out of one end, it'll pull out the other. And that's it, it's empty. Most of the time, it's completely clean inside. The first thing we have to do is wrap some black tape around that so that it will fit inside the cylinder. There are a couple of reasons for that. The first is so that the leads will come out the center of the tube and will look authentic. And the second reason is that the tape will block the liquid beeswax from pouring all the way through when I fill each end and I'll show you that in a minute. So here's our black tape, just plain old electrician's tape. 
and we'll pull off a certain amount. We don't know how much yet. And cut it. Now we begin to wind, making sure one last, one last time that this is the right value. 0.047 at 630 volts, 0.05 at 600, so we're good. And we just begin to roll. Okay, so we have it wrapped up and ready to go. Let's see what we have here. Looks pretty good. We use our screwdriver to center it. That looks pretty good. Can of beeswax that I'm holding with a paper towel because it's kind of hot. And I just pour it in the one end. And some of it will run out and that's fine. So we'll wait for that to cool. And anything that spills will just run down the side and go into the can, the catchment can below. So we'll just bend that up like so, so that it will fit down in the can. Dip the whole thing in quickly and bring it back out. Kind of shake off the excess. So you can see the material beginning to melt. It's becoming transparent. And then as I spin it, just slings off the excess. And then I just keep spinning it so that the uh, beeswax, as it solidifies, will make an even coating all the way around. So there's the final product. And I defy anyone to be able to tell these apart from the originals. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your restoration project.